everybody. Um, I haven't posted a video in a while, so I thought I'd give you guys all an update. Um, so I have moved the bus to a new location. It's actually quite a nice spot. I wasn't allowed to keep it at the last location, i.e. my house. Weird. But yeah, since I moved it, um, I have redone, I have done a few things. Um, I have bought the generator because this location doesn't have any power. It's not that noisy, it's an inverter type. 3,200 watts of power does the job. Um, as you can also see behind me, I made a few changes. Changes. Uh, here's a video of those changes happening. I'm going to start today on the first major physical change. I'm going to remove that cage from inside the bus from George. Uh, not going to be too much of a mission. I've got two cameras already set up aiming at it. Can't use this camera because I'm going to use this one to play some music to myself with my headphones in. And that's why you wear safety gear. That's why you wear safety gear.
and I've also installed a semi-temporary, semi-permanent light fixtures. Um, I haven't finished 100% wiring it all up, but uh, I've got working indicators, headlights, uh, starter button, all, all this kind of stuff does, does work, mostly. Um, put a new fuel sender in, I haven't fitted the fuel gauge yet. Put a new temperature sensor in, but haven't actually fitted the gauge yet. Um, because I haven't finished um, removing all the wiring under there. I mean, that's my wiring. That's the original wiring. Yeah, still have to remove the original wiring. Um, running the generator just to recharge the battery, which isn't properly wired up yet. Uh, still got some parts on order. As you can see, a bunch of fuses all wired up to the battery. <laughs> uh, I've got some relays that are going to be installed. Yeah, pile of tools and other things for installation. Um, I will be also setting up and installing my door locking mechanism, which involves these nice little mag locks. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, there's the part that was removed. Nice, isn't it? Um, that's a jerry can for the generator. Got my all my tools here. Ah, there's a nice little toy. I'm hoping this will work. I'm hoping that this will work to charge from the be from the uh, alternator to charge the battery in the bus. Because I was told that it can take it can take uh, from the alternator in and go to the battery. So hopefully it works. Um, what else? As I said, I have got parts on order. Uh, I've got the wind turbine, which is going to be sitting. Whoops, it's going to be sitting somewhere there on the front on a pole. Uh, I'm going to build that in. Just to charge, just to keep the battery charged for the meanwhile, uh, because um, <laughs> as I said, uh, where's where's my finger going? Ah! As I said, the mag locks, uh, uh, the mag locks on the door will be drawing current, which will um, drain the battery slowly but surely. So if I have a wind turbine, the two basically cancel each other out. I've also ordered a fuse panel because, as you saw. Oh, I've got a mass of fuses just lying around there. Um, there is stuff that, that needs to happen, but at the moment yeah. it seems to be working. Slow leak in this tire. Still I'm not sure if it was just from standing around for a while or if it was actually. But yep, gonna fill it up with air. Got a nice little fuel air pump to do that. So yeah, be getting at some point some help to build up the inside and do some of the changes. That's only in about two or three months time and in that period I might do another update video. I might not. Depends on how much work gets done. But at the moment all the light, all, most of the lights have been replaced with uh, LEDs and the bus is basically drivable. It's not livable but it's drivable. And yeah for the next few months I'm not gonna, really going to do much on the bus. Um, it's just going to stand here basically being stored, getting a little bit of work done to it. Enjoy! See you all next time!